Just got a whole lot of football here, folks. The 2023 Apple Football season set has arrived at Apple Football Club headquarters. Have you ever, ever heard of an Apple Football season set being calculated and released so quickly? Since this game came out in 1958, it's usually been June, July, August by my recollection. I've only been playing since 1979. Some folks might remember some earlier ship dates earlier in the history of the game, but here it is. That's a lot of football, and I love the... Uh, I'm actually really starting to love the teams being shipped alphabetically, players alphabetically, in the um, boxes as opposed to the old uh, envelopes. Of course, back when you had, you had the 1960 Cowboys, you had 30 players and no XFs. And in the 90s, you'd have 32 players and five XFs. Now, of course, the envelopes, which the company does send, are quite strained. So you get your, you know, you get your uh, elastics and you get rid of those, obviously, and you get your bunch of envelopes here. I think I've seen some folks put offense in one envelope, defense in another, uh, use them in ways that are different than storing entire teams for sure. And just keep them in these boxes. Let's talk about this. Now, I will admit I've already cheated and looked at the uh, Lions here. Uh, Detroit, of course, people want to see how this 12-5 uh, and five squad came together here. And here they are, starting with, uh, Bur well, no, whoops, Jared Goff. Wouldn't that be something? <laughs> Purdy to the uh, Lions. No, no. The Lions are quite stacked here. Let's talk about that. You got uh, Gibbs and Montgomery is four-point halfbacks there. You got uh, solid B receivers. You got some good running numbers, some solid twos there for some breakaway. Good old Amon Ross St. Brown, EB5, A asterisk. That 13 means he takes up a lot of the allocation range if you use that system. Josh Reynolds is a B. Khalif Raymond is a B. He's your primary punt guy. Sam Laporte is an A4. And look at the uh, O-line. You got a 4 there and a 4 there and a 5 there. So a 42-point offense. All right? And then you got a 40-point uh, defense here. You got a couple of V ratings. And you've got uh, plenty of solid uh, nickel and dime back opportunity there. You got a couple 4s, a DT there. And a four at end, so that's a good start. You got Jack Campbell, and you got a good nickel opportunity, and Brian Branch. You got the Derek Barnes and Alex Anzalone and fours. Cameron Sutton has a four. Jacobs Walker and a four point safety, and Kirby Joseph, uh, a really good, powerful team. These Lions. You saw Purdy there, and of course had a look at Purdy and Mahomes. Of course, uh, twos at 66. That's generally been the case since the Master Game came out in 1983. A four for Mahomes and a four for Purdy. Seem about right to you? No, no asterisk for Mahomes as a mobile quarterback there. But uh, speaking of the uh, these cards, I notice, and maybe it's just me, but I feel like these are on a slightly hair of a shade of a skosh of an iota stock slightly slightly slicker than others so that you can get the shuffling going a lot quicker especially when doing all these uh, uh team reports which you got to get back to for our apple football handbook uh, if you can't shuffle these cards it can be a real pain but let's uh, dig a little deeper shall we into the deck here into the entirety of the box just kind of pulling these suckers out and seeing what we got. See if I can remember. Slabs and slabs of goodness here. Now, one thing we noted is that apparently some of the cards have... Uh, I'll shuffle these around here. Some of the cards might be a little uh, rendered in a slightly smaller uh, typography. And so... And there we have it right there with the uh, Cardinals. You can see the difference between Aaron Brewer and Marquise Brown. Other than that, though, it looks... The, Card seems pretty kosher here. Three-point receiver. Solid outside run capability. A lot of good threes and an A6. So 
even though he's only three out of five points, that A grade gets you every time. What makes these uh, these uh, newer teams built for uh, the aerial assault of today's NFL so impossible to uh, key on? There's James Conner, a nice BC split grade and a V rating there. We're seeing fewer V ratings, I, I feel, but we're also seeing maybe more split receiving grades. Well, then there he goes, another one, A, B. So, uh, and there's, uh, that looks pretty straight there. Oh, there's a great punter. Wow, Blake Gilligan, look at the twos on that. I don't think I've ever seen triple twos and a K. Good stuff here. Uh, moving on to, see, there's Baltimore W. And going over to this uh, next piece, Baltimore Why I haven't calculated any of the other uh, teams here, but... Uh, Looks like a darn good set, and it arrived. Uh, Josh Allen, there you go. There's your uh, asterisk uh, quarterback there for mobility. Three Ks leading to the seven twos, so very nice there. Uh, how will Buffalo do in your projects? You know, there is one. Uh, actually, now we got to check this out. Remember, it feels like, gosh, forever ago when we tried to simulate what the uh, – the uh, poor Jets season might look like. But first of all, I gotta admit I cheated on something else here. Let's take a look at this and see what you think of. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. Hold on. Wait for it. Check out uh, <laughs> this year's Pittsburgh Steeler, Russell Wilson. Too much? Too little? Just enough? Three, four, three, two, and a good old asterisk. But he's got the six and four at eleven and sixty-six. That's a throwback for sure, right? To the some of those weird cards of the sixties, even in the seventies. I think didn't Zonka or certainly uh, uh, Jim Brown had a card where it was mostly the uh, fifteen, sixteen, seventeens punctuated with a couple of these inside only numbers. Although they do work. Uh, pretty well on outside runs. Ah, let's see. Oh, there's another of these smaller typography there in the name and the top of card information. So, you know, maybe just got a little, uh, those uh, type cells got scaled back a bit. There's another split receiver grade. I swear we're seeing a lot more of those vis-a-vis uh, -vis the V ratings. Just A receivers for days. There's going to have to be, with our Apple Football Handbook, we're going to have to calculate the contemporary set with the most asterisk, uh, A asterisk receivers and the uh, most A grade receivers. That's what makes these uh, contemporary teams so hard to key on. Uh, if you're thinking about coming to Canton, keep that under consideration. By the way, uh, Canton, our tournament is shaping up nicely. Four months to go to Gridiron Games 2024 at the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Want to see you there. If you've never been to the Football Hall of Fame, now is your greatest reason, or one of your greatest reasons. And now you're going to have Keith Avalone there this year. You're going to have uh, Arthur Franz for a breakaway football there. He's bringing all 42 available teams. They're, he's got a whole team coming with him. Uh, St. Patrick's bringing matchup football. This is really shaping up to be a tabletop fo football expo, which is, I think, the way to grow our uh, our um, attendance over the previous two events. We already have two champions. We need to name, well, we need Apple football folks to show up, but uh, we're going to have uh, multiple champions, it looks like, across multiple game platforms. There's another small type here. I think, you, do you know where I'm going with this? Yeah, I think you do. Let's just see here. Um, let's take a look at a card that's going to be actually will the card be here oh the w's the w's the, the u the t the t oh the, the suspense is killing me oh my goodness poor gangrene no that's amazing there is no there is no aaron Rodgers card oh no it goes from Reed to Ruckert. There is no Aaron Rodgers in the set. I mean that that kind of uh, <laughs> that kind of stands to reason, doesn't it? Sure. Now speaking of an injured quarterback, I went ahead and tacked on the 1983 season set, which I 
second. I've cheated a little bit here. It is copyright 2021. So this is an expansion and recalculation beyond the original 1983 set. Of course, uh, 1983 uh, LA Raiders weren't all that year, but I had to get this set not only for our Apple Football Handbook, but for the final card of my absolute, my absolute hero, all-time sports hero. God, these cards feel just great. It's a great feeling set this time. Here it is, Terry Bradshaw. He appeared late in the season against the Jets, speaking of, and uh, he threw a couple touchdowns, and then he uh, he uh, lost his uh, arm there for good when it uh, snapped his shoulder injury. But now check this out. Two, 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 and J4. I'm going to what if the heck out of Terry here. The Steelers are going to the Super Bowl in 1983. They're going to beat the Raiders in the AFC Championship. They're going to go on to beat the Redskins, I think, or maybe the Niners. Who knows? But, yeah, Terry Bradshaw, the last card, just not even 10, 10 attempts in that game, I don't believe. But there is the 1983 season set. It's looking good. Um, gosh, who could forget the names like, uh, you know, Greg Garrity, the great Steel Curtain names. Uh, Keith Gary, for sure. Uh, gosh, Franco Harris doesn't even get breakaway numbers, but he still gets a four. And there's another split receiving grade. Uh, Brian Hinkle. Tunch. Tunch, come on. Oh, there it is. There's... Mark Malone as a two. Now that, now tell me about this. Talk about sparse. Uh, Bradshaw still gets a three over Mark Malone. Is that insult to injury or what? Yeah, I'm using Brad all season long. Oh my goodness. And I believe this is the season that uh, Cliff Stout, didn't he go to the uh, UFL at that point? Good old Scancy. Come on, Yinzers. You know these names. Stallworth, a 3B. Ouch. Oh, no. Cliff Stout was there. I guess he went in 84 to the USFL. Cliff Stout is the 3. Okay, so it's Stout Malone and then Bradshaw. Calvin Sweeney. Hey, there you go. See? Um, in any case, let's go and find. Speaking of the Raiders, I'm going to go back. Ah. Looking for Oakland. Not there. Not there. Let's check out Marcus Allen. Since that's one of the things you really want to see in the 83 set. And it looks like, looks like the 83 set also has a uh, typography issue. So, huh, something uh, going on maybe with their template and where certain players' cards are forming, uh, falling in the, uh, in the template there. So, no big deal at all. For me, I, I'm not terribly worried about that. You had some type anomalies in some of the original sets back in the 60s. It was a Stonebreaker. They had to change the uh, the name. And uh, Schottheimer, I believe it was. Where the heck? Uh-oh. Did I move it? Ah, uh, well. Marcus. Let's see. You get a lot of cards. You get a lot. There's Todd Christensen. Five point. A asterisk. For sure. Well, Dave Dalby. See? He's a rookie probably in 72, 73. And there he is. Straddling the decades as a four. Well, now we get a check. Uh, good old buddy. Uh, buddy guy. Ray guy. Are there any double digits in that K column? No. <laughs> no. There's a two there, though. Uh, oh, good old Charlie Hanna has a four there. Lester Hayes. Oh, man, that's a killer card for the 83 set. And Mike Haynes, only a three. W3, zero yardage on the interception is what that means. Kick him in the head. Ted is a four. And uh, that's good old Kenny King is a three. Pretty uh, workmanlike. Good old Howie Long. Nice. Rod Martin, big five for the 83 Raiders. And let's just check, because you got to see. Oh, Plunkett gets the four and a pair of twos. Very nice. And good old Greg Pruitt. Always great to see the 70 stars win a ring. 
with the Raiders or the Niners. And I think, oh, wait a minute. Greg Townsend, early days, only a two, but still, you want him in the game for those ones. Uh, let's move ahead to, I don't know. Huh. Well, heck. Well, never mind that, but let's go find. There we go. You know, uh, if you're a frequenter of the Between the Lines forum, you've encountered Dave Rogborg Titano, and Dave Rogborg Titano does not like the original 83 season sets of Dave. Here's your Marcus Allen. A lot more refined. And check out the fumble recovery only card for Marcus there. I think you're going to get your yardage. Plus, check out that passing column. Marcus Allen, dangerous, dangerous player for the 83 Los Angeles Raiders. Uh, man, oh man, that is a great card. That makes the uh, 83 set worth the price of admission alone. But then, of course, we get a check for the Redskins. Let's see, what do we got all the way in the back here? What do we got for Mr. Riggins? John Riggins, solid five, only two Ks, and the lesser breakaway numbers. So, something to think about there, but looks like uh, looks like he'll uh, get some yardage, good yardage, good old Art Monk there, and the first of Joe Gibbs' three... Super Bowl winning quarterbacks, New Jersey's own Joe Theismann. Big fat five there. And the one, there it is, the elusive one for a master game carded quarterback at 66. Two, three, one, and at four. Oh, fours at 22 and 44. You want to buy this 83 set now, aren't you? Who else there? Let's just see. Who else would we have? Who's worth looking at in 1983? Joe Montana. It's a nice four there. Some solid, uh, solid numbers there. And now we got to look at. Oh, we got to go back to the. I don't know. Well, <laughs> you know where I'm going with this. Going to Miami. There's a good old Dave Woodley there. I think that damage. I might have just done that. That's all right. So we're going to go back to the uh, other box here. It looks like the Dolphins got split up here. Oh, who doesn't remember good old Tony Nathan with a pair of cards? Does he have just two? Yeah, there you go. And another split receiving grade. I'm telling you, you're seeing a lot more refinement in the passing game there. But here is, speaking of, oh, well, there's Dan Marino. There's your four. Should have been a Steeler. I'm going to have to replay that uh, Marino goes to the Steelers game. And there's Nat Moore. Let's hold off uh, Mr. Marino there for a second. There's Nat Moore, the great, the great one. So now we got to go. Let's get a good old Randy White. A five for the 83 Cowboys. Still, still a force there. But let's go find uh, another member of that great Quarterback class of 1983. Oh, and speaking of a Hall of Famer now, Randy Gratishar. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, <laughs> good old, good old Steve DeBerg there gets the three for your 83 Broncos. But let's get to Mr. Elway. Mr. Elway. Oh, only a two. No, oh, compared to Marino's four, and I believe that uh, matches the original set there, Elway. Although he did engineer a couple big comebacks against the Colts. Surprisingly, they played uh, each other. Denver and Baltimore did in 83 twice, and I think Elway, they, they was both combined wins, combined wins by Denver. Uh, certainly Elway led him to, I think, three touchdowns in the fourth quarter in the game week 15 in Denver. I forget, but, uh, or maybe I remember. But in any case... 
solid numbers, both J4s, both FR0. They fall on the ball. Elway's got a little more mobility than uh, <laughs> concrete shoot Dan Marino there. So I'll just put uh, Marino and Elway up front here in that 83 set. There you have it. 40 years apart. What a difference four decades makes between the 1983 NFL season and the 2023 NFL season. Get them both today at the stadium shop. You can just look at these cards forever. Not even have to play the game, but we're, of course, going to be playing the game. Uh, do reach out if you want to know about what's happening in Canton. Two more days of wall-to-wall -wall football at the Hall. I'll also update you on Cooperstown. That was a blast. I'm first there as well. All informed by our Canton tournament. We went to two days in Cooperstown this year. Young Ryan Morrison blew the doors off the place. And uh, so we're taking uh, APA to two Halls of Fame again this year. Our second Cooperstown to Canton run is in the offing. One laid down, one to go. Grab your very fast to market Apple football 2023 NFL season set. It looks like a killer set. And throw in a vintage season just to compare and to support all the fine folks, of which I think there are three or one, I forget, in Alpharetta. In any case, kudos to Apple for this very under the radar, but uh, applause worthy development. Probably the fastest app of football set to market, certainly that I've seen. If you know otherwise, please comment and let us know any cards you might want to see in the set. Better yet, just get your own copy. We will be bringing the 2023 set to Canton, August 24th and 25th. So you get a chance to look at it there if you want to uh, get a little preview, kick the tires. We'll play a couple teams if you'd like. Leave plenty of room for pickup games or bring vintage teams of your choice. Hope to see you in Canton and get your copy of the 2023 Apple Football NFL season set today.